in in this world they they call me the stork that's been around for quite a while most of my most of my disc playing life so the stork someone once said that it's that it's prediction is is extremely difficult especially if it's about the future uh, and it's it's really difficult to say what the what the future of disc sports will be um, there are many many wonderful things in the world that that get undervalued um, the world's best string quartet plays at a tiny little church in Pasadena and and they have 35 people and they tell me that Staples Center gets packed for a bunch of people who probably can't sing that well. So it isn't necessarily true that just because we have something great, it's going to be extremely popular. What I hope for it is that I hope we will continue to have vibrant opportunities for people to play who find the sport and, and choose it. I don't know necessarily that it's an optimum future for us to be mainstream huge because when you're mainstream huge your your screen of how easy it is for people to find you is is a very loose one one of the things that's been to our benefit in our history is that it's not that easy for people to find us and when they do they're already kind of pre-approved you know I mean if if you're weird enough to have found us you know you're probably weird enough to like it and so uh, I think that many of the things that, that we've liked about the maverick pioneering aspect of it, uh, I'll be happy to see it continue in, in, in little ways. Um, I don't think we need to have a national DDC league uh, for us to say it's successful. If you told me uh, that there were gonna be hundreds of leagues where people could play close to home uh, with their friends and have a, a wonderful, healthful, self-sustaining time, I'd say, great, we need more of that.